Dramatic chapters. Don't let the cats in. I promise nothing. But to be fair, if I open the door, they'd probably just sit there, like... Eh. Fancy white car, it probably belongs to the farmer's daughter. I'm supposed to meet her here. A fee to run. Dun 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 running along. I should probably say hello to the owner first. You must be Yanji then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life-threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee, and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Yes. It's a beautiful place, indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl They're growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. After you. Meet Angie, Dad. She's gonna look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it. Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five, half past tops. Ugh, oh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta ta! Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I'll leave you a list of his favorite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. That was some interesting music while talking about sandwiches. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days he still manages to dress on his own. And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break a zip or something. Dad likes to be called George. You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> Hello? I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please, keep a close eye on George. 
I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. Let us save the game with our smoke break. This is why you're dying. Big old wardrobe. If I ever need to hide a dead body, there'll be room for at least two in there. If I ever find something pretty, I can put it up on the shelf. It's always bright in the city, but here in the country it might be useful to have a torch with me just in case. So there's upstairs, downstairs. Why, George, why do you have so many rooms in your house? Good lord! How big is this house? Like a hamster cage. I can't tell from down here if there's a hamster inside of it. Probably George's room. I hold the wall. I can see the other room through it. Interesting. George's bed, nothing fancy, of course. An old guy like George doesn't care much about the comforts of the modern world. Just another houseplant. So exciting. So exciting. I'm gonna go put some eye drops in real quick because my eye is bugging me. Ugh, I'll try to untangle myself from this blanket first. Okay. I'm gonna step up. Step over the dog, or she's gonna step up and trip me. That can work too. I'm not crying. I'm on my controller, so. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Alright, eye drops are in. Okay. Back into this room. Press the on button, doesn't seem to do anything. Bathroom sink, clear. This is George's space. They have shaving utensils on the side and bits of hair everywhere. Sounds about right. Alright, let's go downstairs. See George. Leads to the basement. Fuse box. Locked. Strange sound coming from the other. Should I open it? It'll kill me. No. Let's get out of here. Family portrait. This little boy could it perhaps be George and the girl, his older sister, perhaps. George, my friend of alcohol. Outside. Run away! What's this? This looks like a dug up tiny grave. There's a slightly decomposed hamster inside. Well, we found the hamster. Big 
fern. Nice plant. Well, CRTV, you can't buy these nowadays. It's an urn. If I had to guess, I'd say it holds the ash of George's late wife. It's probably better to not touch it. Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, you just had one, thank you. Anything good on the telly? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one of those um, American films. Ah, right. You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no, thank you. I'm quite warm. Wanna go for a walk? Oh, uh, that's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. I think I'll give it a miss, if you don't mind. Yeah. Sure. I'll go make you a sandwich. Sandwich for George, water the plants, investigate door to basement. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he'd left in the basement last week, please tell him if he, I put his toolbox in the workshop outside of the front yard. Thanks, sir. Let's see, what do we want to do? Ham, cheese, mayonnaise, mustard. I made a strange sandwich. Okay, so I can only put a couple things on it. Alright, red. That's so rude. No one ever heard of it, just a ham sandwich? Jesus. <laughs> 